Have you ever heard about medieval mysticism or medieval heresies? Have you ever wondered about the particular role women played in medieval spirituality? Do Hildegard of Bingen, Claire of Assisi, Marguerite Boret, the Cathar Ladies or Isabel de Villena ring a bell? Have you ever felt like you wanted to know more about them? If your answer to any of these questions was yes, then this MOOC, A Voice of Their Own, Women's Spirituality in the Middle Ages, is what you were looking for. A Voice of Their Own is much more than a course. It is an invitation to follow the path traced by the spiritual experiences of medieval women. It is a challenge that, should you let it, will take you to places where you will see and hear things that will astonish you. Here, you will find medieval women playing a major role in the spiritual transformations of the Middle Ages founding monastic movements and orders, writing about their experiences, traveling the roads of Europe to spread their ideas, and creating spiritual landscapes, as well as both material and intangible architectures. In this MOOC, these women will speak to you from the past, and you will see that their voices still hold great validity in the present. We are Blanca Gari and Nuria Journet, principal investigators of the project Spiritual Landscapes that lays behind the creation of this MOOC. Today we are here among the old books and manuscripts of the Library of the University of Barcelona to present this course. Some of the books that surround us guard some of those voices of women that we want to rescue for you, which makes this the ideal starting point for a voice of their own. Throughout this course, we will travel together through five thematic units composed of five compulsory and two optional videos each. The first unit is an introductory module that will provide you with a general outline of women's spirituality in the Middle Ages. The topics introduced there we will develop in depth in the following units. Module 2, The House of the Heart, deals with female monasticism in its different forms while dispelling cliches about enclosures, the culture of nuns, their ability to manage the nunnery, both spiritually and materially, and their empowerment through different strategies and processes. In the optional videos, we will also discuss the relationship of nunneries with their sponsors and patrons and the special role played by queens. Module 3, The Space Within, focuses on the phenomenon of the great mystical writers women who were considered sometimes saints and some others heretics. We have chosen a selection of examples from all over Europe. Hildegard of Bingen, Hadewitz of Anber, the community of Helfta, Marguerite Poret, and Julian of Norwich, as well as Isabel de Villena and Bridget of Sweden in the optional videos. These are some specific women who author works of extraordinary literary and spiritual value and whose voices put into words ineffable experience translated into poems, letters or text in prose. Module 4 discusses the always fascinating topic of women within heretical movements or, as we prefer to call them, female spiritual dissidents. Cathars, Waldensians, Begins on Flag Lock, Gagelmites. The videos will bring us closer to the way in which they thought and lived. We will also talk about the relationship with the ecclesiastical power and about the point of view of the most renowned and fierce opponents of these movements, the dreaded inquisitors. The optional videos in this unit 
will explain why many communities of Beguines ended up taking refuge within the boundaries of monastic life, but also why, despite prohibitions, lay spiritual movements kept emerging again and again well into the 16th century, as we will see when we will look into the case of the so-called Alumbradas in Castile. Finally, Unit 5 will focus on the creation of both material and intangible spiritual landscapes by women. Some of the greatest European female monastic landscapes will pass before your eyes. And we will also zoom in for a close-up of specific monastic domains that showcase the territorial impact of female religiosity on the urban and rural environments. We will visualize monastic architectures and look around their innermost spaces to try and see and hear the gestures, voices and ideas that bind networks, the most connected form of landscape, together. We are convinced that both medieval men and women were indispensable actors of our past and creators of the great Western spiritual tradition, which even today often reminds and know. We do know that this tradition, which was the result of a joint effort, can only be well understood, especially in the case of the Middle Ages, if we pay attention to women and grasp the deep meaning of their contribution. More than 20 experts from 14 different leading institutions in seven different countries have contributed to the materials offered in this MOOC, which no doubt makes it one of a kind. Well, it is now the time to start, to let ourselves be led by the voices of the past to guide us through this female spiritual adventure. Join us and enjoy a voice of their own.